In this video, I'm going to be talking about headings in HTML. So a heading, generally speaking, is the title of a section or a subsection of content. And it's normal to have hierarchies of content and sections, like how a book will have chapters and each chapter will have sections and each section may have subsections. HTML gives us six different levels of headings to do that sort of a hierarchy. And the tags are h1, h2, h3, down to h6. So we'll do an h1 tag first. We'll say open h1 tag. We'll say my art website, close the h1 tag, do a refresh. And now we've got this title of our website here with the h1 heading. Now the h1 heading is intended to be used for the title of the website, generally speaking. And we can do then a, you know, sections of our website here. That's what the h2 tag would be for. And we'll say h2 and we'll do sections of a art website that would make sense. So we'll say music and we'll do dance and theater. These are now sections of, you know, our art website. That's the intention here. And we've got music, dance, theater. And we can keep going down into more subsections. So for music, we could come up with, you know, sub genres of music. So we'll say, you know, rock, rap, pop. And, you know, now we've got a subsection to this section in terms of the, the headings. And we can keep going with it just to, just for, you know, the sake of doing all of them. We'll, we'll go into rock here. We'll say H4, we'll say, you know, punk rock, classic rock, and maybe one more. Alternative rock. And then underneath punk rock, we can have an H5 uh, subsection or layer. So we'll do a, um, maybe we'll do proto punk and then we'll do hardcore punk. And then we'll do like one more layer. We'll go right to H six and we'll just do a band at this point. Cause I think we're out of sub genres here. So we'll do the velvet underground. And so if we do a refresh here, we'll get the whole six level hierarchy here that, you know, this is the title, this is a section, this is a subsection, this is a sub subsection, sub sub subsection, and you know, final section down here. And you'll notice that the font size has actually been made smaller for each section. So the H3 is smaller than the H2 and, and so on. And it might be tempting to think that that's actually what these tags are for. You don't wanna use them in that way though. You'd wanna use CSS to style the headings in whichever size you like. Um, the tags are actually for defining document structure. So the intention with them is that you actually use the H2 tags for sections and you use the H3 for subsections of those sections. And one of the reasons why you do that is for the, the website reader, obviously, to see that, you know, this is a subsection of this. But one of the other reasons why it's important is that programs like Google will read your website and when they read your website, one of the things they're looking at is the content of your headings. And when they see music, rock, punk rock, they use that to put together and analyze what your website is about. And so for that reason, you want to stick to the intended usage of the tags. Uh, also for that reason, it's generally a good idea to use only one H1 tag for the actual title of your website. And it's also generally speaking a bad idea to say skip a, a level or a layer in your hierarchy of sections. So if we just sort of didn't have this H3 layer here, we just didn't have H3 tags, and we, were, we went right from H2 to H4, we'd be skipping a layer there and we wouldn't be using it as it's intended. And that's generally speaking considered a bad practice. And that's the essentials of headings in HTML. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.